Hello there, welcome to this video. I've had a good day today, I've been busy, and it's been a very productive 3D printy airsofty type of day. We have been having a bit of a saga recently. Um, we've had a heron living in a tree just out there, and crows have been trying to attack it and stuff, so we've been making lots of loud noises to try and scare the crows off. Today the crows left, and then the heron left, and everybody was happy, so hooray for nature, coming back to the world, which is nice because there's lots of stories about nature returning to the world at the minute, so more nature please, and herons are wonderful creatures. I actually used to be a member of the RSPB, and my name was Green Woodpecker, which I picked, and at the time didn't realise could be a euphemism. But I'm grown up now and understand that's the case, so I'd probably pick something cooler, like a taloned hawk or a shag. Back to what we're talking about today though, I have had a very productive day 3D printing parts and a productive night as well because I actually 3D printed something last night and uh, it worked out very well and I'm going to go through with you all of my new updated things and items that I've been uh, that I've made. So let me just quickly grab this camera because I'm going to give you close-ups on everything so you can see what's going on. Let's show you the first thing which is one of the ones I'm actually most proud of. So coming across to the wall uh, we have our M4 on the wall and you can see as out of the ordinary, it's actually got the light attached. Um, and that's because I was using it as a torch when I was looking at the heron in the tree with the crows. But one thing that was kind of annoying was I didn't know where to put my touchpad and it wasn't really anywhere on the, on the rifle to attach it. So I made this little housing thing for it. Giving you a bit of a better view, that is what I made. So it's a small 3D printed part. You got two black Allen bolts on the side that you screw in, and then I thread, uh, and then I threaded the plastic on the other side there, so those go all the way through holding it in place. Then all you do to put your little pressure plate in place is you grab it, you kind of thread it in the end like that, uh, push it in, and then uh, you just clip your cable in the other side, flatten it all out, and then boom! That's your little pressure pad fitted onto your rifle. How cool is that? And it works so well. And I was genuinely so excited with that. Isn't that just wonderful? So pressure pad on there, fits nicely, and it's the kind of thing where it's not obnoxious, it doesn't get in the way. So if you wanna run with your light off, you can just like, I guess, remove your light just like that. And if you wanted to, you could leave that on and it doesn't even get in the way. That was piece number one. And like I said, I did that quite late last night. Designed it up and it fit perfectly first time. And that's the kind of designing I love to see. So, pressure platey adaptery thing done and out the way, what's next? Well, the next thing I worked on, I've had a few kind of background projects going on. All of these have been a little bit similar and they're essentially dummy magazines for pistols. So I already do a dummy magazine for Glocks, but I don't actually do any others yet. But now I do. I've done a dummy magazine for the FNX45. The actual final version is currently printing out now as you can see there, so that is that is coming. When I say final version, it's not the final. This is the hopefully the final prototype. So once this is finished printing, I can make sure it fits okay, and then I can print a high quality version. And that's gonna be very similar for the other magazines. I essentially wanna do a high quality print of all of these items once the final prototypes have been completed. So yeah, he's just printing away at the minute. So once this is done, hopefully it will fit perfectly and then we can get a, a high quality one version printed. The reason why we have the dummy magazines is shops like to use them instead of having the real magazines in the gun because people like to steal real magazines, which is a bit of a pain. But with dummy magazines, you can still show the action of the mag, show the kind of like size of it and show the functionality of the magazine in the pistol without the risk of losing it to a customer. It's also good for players to use them to practice changing out magazines and reloading, so doing drill work, although I'd recommend using a real magazine for the weight and all the extra bits spoken out of it, but it does work for drills if you only have one mag and you can't really afford to get any more. So that's a good purpose. So we've got the FNX45, which is kind of coming to uh, finishing off uh, the, 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 the magazine there. Then we've got the Colt 1911, again, that's got a, a dummy mag inside. And then I also did a dummy mag for my high capper pistol, which is here. But when I finished making it, I wanted to see how strong the, uh, that this one was. So I, I actually pulled it apart. So this one actually doesn't go in the gun anymore. And I'm just gonna chuck that in the bin. Now, 
I know what you're thinking. What else have you done today? As if that's not enough. Well, I have done more. One of the other things, uh, which I kind of came back to, it's been a bit of a side project for a while, is you can get these speed loaders. They're for M4 magazines. However, I've got a friend that uses a Steya or an Org you may be familiar with, and you can't get speed loaders for Org magazines. So I've been working on this nifty little adapter. You fit it into your speed loader like so. You then put your Org magazine or Steya magazine in the top and then you can load it by spinning that around. And yeah, it works really, really nicely. This is definitely still a like work in progress prototype. I actually just cut the hole out on this side because I put the hole on the other side. That's not my fault, by the way. On the M4, that's in the right side. But for some reason, these mags have the catch on the opposite side. So a bit of an odd one, but hey, that's, that's, that's how it is. And that's actually feeding really, really nicely. So happy with that, that's pretty much done. What I do need to do though, is uh, I've smartened this up a little bit in my CAD, in my design. So I'm gonna print a high quality version of it, see how that goes, and then hopefully that'll be done. If not, I'll need to make some tweaks. And then that'll be that one completed. Ah, so that is also spoken about. And the last thing that I have currently made today so far is this little fella. And what this little fella is, it's a molly clip. So as you can see, you've got your molly clip at the top there, and then this bottom one will keep it secured in the lower fabric flap of your molly. And it's a CO2 canister holder. So if you're running a CO2 pistol, like that Colt 1911 I showed you earlier, essentially, if you want to carry more capsules around with you, you'll be able to clip this on your belt or, or on your chest rig or on like a little like, you know, admin pouch or anything like that. And then you can put your CO2 capsules into it. It will hold it in nice secure. There's room for two. And also the, the nub of the capsule that gets pierced, that sits in there fully protected from plastic. So there's no chance that that's going to get shot out. And that sits in there. And it's super, super strong, as you can see, shaking like, like mad and it's not going out anywhere. And uh, yeah, so what I am going to do next step for this, which I'm going to make a video of, is uh, testing this to make sure that if you shoot the side of the capsules, they don't explode. I'm 99% sure they won't, but I still need to test it because if I'm going to be selling these and people are going to be buying them, I need to make sure that it's not like advertising them to be blown up on the airsoft field because that's not fair. It's funny, but it's not fair. So I've got a load of capsules on the way and uh, yeah, I'm essentially going to be shooting them in the holder to see if they blow up. So that'll be fun. Subscribe if you haven't already, and then you'll be ready for that video when it goes live uh, at next week some point. Really handy little device. You can either slide them in from the top like that and push them in, or, and then you can slide them out like that too, or you can like get the little nub in the crevice and then clip it in like that. And again, if you wanted to, whoop, you can then pull it out in the exact same fashion. So yeah, keep sure capsules nice and secure they're not going anywhere and gives fast access to them as well so yeah that's what i've been up to today i've been playing a little bit of team fight tactics as well I'm, i need to get more into the habit of playing games not purely for content and videos and like for streaming because as, as much as i love doing it and i love playing games with you there i'm focused on like entertaining you and making sure that i'm talking to you all the time as well and because i'm doing that I'm not focusing on the game as much, and then I die a load. And it's not like, it's not necessarily your fault, but I'm trying to entertain you, which makes me bad. I got my first solo win in Warzone last night. I wasn't on stream or recording or anything like that. I was playing just because I wanted to, and it was, I think it was my second game of the day, and I got a, a solo win, so go me. I'm not shit at games. I just am when people are watching. I'm on a tangent. Thanks for watching. Make sure you sub so you can see the video where I shoot these capsules. I'm either gonna blow them up or I'm gonna shoot a load of shit beyond the capsule anyway. So until then, I'll catch you later. I've been Shu and you are gonna stay fresh.